Today is a very exciting day for the world of zombies as the hype train has literally steamrolled out of the station as we have a brand new zombies gameplay trailer for the map 9. This is over 5 minutes of brand new zombies gameplay. We have some huge reveals in here and I'll be breaking it down afterwards for you all. This is all for the new Avenged Sevenfold song that's in the game for the map 9. You just gotta watch this trailer, it's incredible, but make sure you stay tuned afterwards because we'll be breaking down all the good bits that you need to know. Trust me, there's some really exciting reveals in here. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Drop a like if you're hyped for Black Ops 4. Let's jump in. These must be the previous contestants. The bad ones. Now that is a lot of gold.
Hunger never solves anything. Actually, that is not entirely true. Well, good God, that trailer was absolutely mind-blowingly good. I don't even know where to start. This trailer was incredible. There were so many storyline elements, so many things that we saw so quickly in a flash that it's actually pretty hard for me to break this down frame by frame, but I'm going to do my damn best to bring you guys some of the more important things to notice within this trailer because there was just so much. There were so many weapons that we saw. There was the uses of the elixir which are the new perk system inside of the Chaos story. There was just so much going on. This trailer had a real Mob of the Dead vibe to me because it starts off with some of the characters, you know, doing their own thing and a lot of them in, you know, situations where they're about to be killed. And sometimes you even see that, which is just absolutely incredible. But this nine map looks like a very big map from what we've seen from the trailer. Tons and tons of gameplay in there besides what we've just seen from the original cutscene. Tons of areas involving both outdoors and underground areas, which I don't think any of us expected. Some of the weapons we've seen inside of here, such as the Zweihander from Blackout, as well as a new pistol, which we've not seen before, a Magnum of sorts, and the Saiga 12 shotgun, the Augur as well, and we see brand new traps, like a new spike trap, which seems to elevate further down to the ground while it's just absolutely mowing down zombies and we see quite a few new bosses within this trailer as well it's very difficult to tell at this stage if there is perhaps maybe too many zombie types in here but i guess we'll have to play before we can really see but there is a heck of a load in here there's an exceptionally brutal scene where the trailer transitions through a quick breakdown where you see many frames for literally a second, including gameplay of the Scepter of Ra, which we now know has a sort of laser beam that shoots out and kills zombies. We get to see some awesome first person gameplay of that for a few bits. And like I mentioned earlier with the vibes of older trailers, you do see sections of our characters dying. And it's almost like as if this story of this map is trying to portray that our Characters are going through a set of trials and if they die then they simply come back again and restart almost like a cycle is happening with this map we also see a new weapon which is this sort of mini pistol with its barrel on the side which looks insanely fast and powerful and some more classic zombies action including those back-to-back -back shots now we see a new trap in one of the central areas where it's like a fire trap a fire pit where if the zombies walk among it they're gonna get fried but you can see a much larger gladiator zombie and like i said we see tons of them in the trail Perhaps this is the main one that we've seen before that has all of the armor on it, but this is just it with less armor, and that's probably one of the phases it has left before you can kill it fully, or it's another zombie. And something even crazy is we see some zombies, it's like their flesh is melting off so much that they're actually getting rid of that and showing what's really underneath. And we have these very weird, almost mummy-like zombies, which have this green glow on them. Their eyes are covered over. It just looks incredibly creepy. I'm loving this. And then we get to see this huge gladiator zombie a little bit further on in the trailer when Shaw comes up against him and then is like, hell no, I'm running away and starts firing shots. And this zombie is just running towards him. It's so quick as well how quickly it runs into the camera and then just kills him. Like, there's no way that this is the reality that we know as when we play this map because it's depicting all of the characters dying by their own trials. Obviously, this isn't the way that things are going to go going forwards. And we see the mystery box up close as well, which looks incredible. It's literally a real life zombies mystery box because it is constantly sort of moving. It's alive. And here we get to see the new Pack-A-Punch, which is incredible. It's like a vortex of sorts, which has brought this gun into a different dimension and then brings it out again. Now we don't get to look at how the weapon looks with the Pack-A-Punch camo, but at least we get to see the very first glimpses of Pack-A-Punch in the Chaos storyline, which is incredible. And then we get to see another feature of the Scepter of Ra that we've seen in various other trailers. You slam it down and it creates a sort of shield which pushes all the zombies back, which just looks like it's gonna be such an incredible weapon to use. One shot as well, you can also notice the mystery box light which we saw in Blackout with the Blightfather event, which confirms in the chaos story the mystery box light is going to be this red beaming glow which is sweet we get to see a new lmg whilst the zombies are running into a wall and actually break it down we don't know if this is a new thing where zombies can literally change the dynamics of the map by 
actually destroying it, which would be a huge change to zombies. And then we finally get to see for the very first time what the new perk machines look like. So we have the Egyptian god perk machine here behind our two characters. And you can almost make out the symbol behind the players on what the perk machine looks like. Now, the icon to me looks like a watch face, like an actual clock telling the time. So I don't know what exactly this perk ability will give you, but this is the first time that we've seen what these perk machines look like physically in the world and also the first glimpses of a new perk. So what do you think that could be down below? Let me know. Further on, we get to see another new ability weapon, the Shakram of Vengeance, which just looks incredible. As soon as Diego uses it, you can see these weird symbols appear down down below below him not sure if that's a easter egg step perhaps or a hint and this is activating it and this is the spot you've got to be in or it just appears anyway but a new ability we never saw before in the first trailers is that this thing can literally slice heads off just like the hell's retriever from mob it's just slicing and dicing and it looks like it's collecting souls for a soul box. You can just see loads of beams of light just flying around before going back towards the player, which looks really cool. You get to see more gameplay of the Scepter of Ra, which seems to literally melt the heads off of the zombies, which is incredible. Next is the Viper and Dragon, which just looks incredible as well. It's just so strong. A single swipe's killing all those zombies. And then finally, we have the Hammer of Valhalla, which just completely decimates that boss zombie right there. Perhaps a tactic of sorts in order to get around those things when you play the actual map and making use of the environment around. And in one of the most exciting shots for sure, we see one of the characters in first person drinking one of these elixirs, but it has a specific logo on it. And if you guys recognize it, then you should know that this is Pop Shocks, but as an elixir. So we don't have to ask and wonder anymore. The Gobblegum system is returning in elixirs, and it seems that some of the Gobblegum abilities that we come to get used to are returning. This is the exact same Pop Shots logo, just a bit more greenified with all the liquid. And it also looks like you can drink these whilst you're firing weapons. So in Black Ops 3 zombies, you could eat gobblegum, but you couldn't use your weapons whilst doing so. Perhaps with perks and now elixirs as well, you can drink those whilst you're moving, which is an amazing quality of life improvement. And then if things weren't enough, then we got to hear the voice of the enemies that we're going to be up against within Black Ops for zombies this really mysterious clan and also what we believe to be the new iteration of the monkey bomb so it's almost like a doll which you have to inject to bring life into it but it seems like it has a whole life of its own which is really really hilarious what an amazing trailer though i'm shook at how good this was if i missed anything let me know down below in the comment section but i'd love to know your thoughts what did you think of this trailer how more hyped are you for this map and black ops 4 zombies in general and if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up this is not the first video i'm going to be making today as we have some really exciting information from Treyarch regarding how dlc is going to work for black ops 4 in terms of the exclusivity window tons of great info coming but if you did enjoy you want to stay up to date with the latest gameplay and trailers for black ops 4 and of course black ops 4 zombies and blackout when they both drop in next month make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell but thank you for watching i'll catch you next time